Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and in this video we'll talk about CI slash CD. Now this concept is very hot in the industry, everyone is talking about this concept. Now especially if you're working on day ops, it's amazing. But what is it and why it's so amazing? Now before understanding this concept, let's understand why it came. So let's go back a few years and let's talk about waterfall model. So what we do is, let's say if you have a client and if your client says, hey, we want we want you to build a project. Now in this case, it will take some time for you to make a project, right? Maybe six months, maybe one year, maybe five years. Now in this case, you cannot simply ask your client, hey, a client, just wait for one year, we will give the project. Because things are changing very fast now, right? So your client cannot wait for it because client, have, client requirement might change or maybe there is some miscommunication. So client is asking for something else and you are giving something else. So you need that continuous feedback, right? And that's why we are using a different approach nowadays, which is agile. So in agile, what you have, what you are responsible is to give your client a, a ready product in every two to three weeks. Okay, not the entire product, but then the parts of it. So let's say if you have 10 features, you can give one feature in two weeks or three weeks. Now that will be amazing from a client side because you will get a continuous feedback. Okay, that's one thing. So we have one thing which is agile. The second thing here is, now let's imagine you're working on a project and in that project you have certain modules and you have multiple developers to work on it. So what you have done, done is you have given one module to each developer. Now the thing is, when you as a software developer work on a project, let's say you are using Java here, so you will write a Java code and you are also responsible to test it. And for testing, you will be using JUnit right now when you test your class it is perfectly working so your unit testing is working perfectly but then we we miss one thing in testing we have one more thing which is called as integration testing because all these developers they work they will work together right and when they work together they have to integrate it somewhere so that your operation teams because we have development teams we have operation teams and we have a QA team now your operation teams are responsible to you know take that project and deploy it on server but then you have missed that integration testing right who is responsible to do that so what we have is we have this automation test things so so let's say this is friday evening and you have decided okay so we'll work for one week and every friday we will deploy the project we will integrate the project and then there will be an automation test what if something goes wrong in the automation test what if there's a, there are bugs? Now the problem is this is Friday evening. You don't want to spend your weekends in the office. So what, what you will do is you will solve that problem. So that's one problem, right? You cannot, you, you don't have to wait for an entire week to submit your project because that happens in the industry. To solve that problem, we have a concept of CI. Now what CI stands for is continuous integration. As name suggests, what if you integrate your modules, it's very often, let's say uh, in a day, you will be doing maybe five to six commits, right? So every time you make a change, every time you think it's working for you in your unit test, just submit it or, or just commit it on the shared repository. The advantage would be, let's say if you have five developers, all these people will be committing to the server and every time you commit, there will be an automation test. That means write, commit and test, right? So at the end or after every commit you will be having a ready project which is tested and you have the confidence that it is working because there's a test happening behind the scene right so that's the beauty of ci ci simply means instead of committing at the end of the day or maybe after a week just the moment you have done the code the moment you you think it's working for you in a unit test commit it so that it will be test it will be there will be automation test done on the server after this, we also have a concept of continuous delivery. Now, in fact, we have CD, we have two parts in CD. We have continuous delivery and continuous deployment. Now, people often mix those two terms, but they are not same, they are different, okay? So it's important to understand the difference between delivery and deployment. When you say continuous integration, you have the project, you, have, you are committing very often, right? Now, it is possible that your commit, your, the entire repository after the committing is ready for delivery maybe after if your client says hey we want to see what's the progress you can simply show them the working model not on the production server of course you will be showing that on a mock server so you will be getting a production like server a fake server and you will run the current project on that server 
right so it will give you the confidence that things are working and it will also make your client happy plus you can also check for the performance of the system so when you shift your project from this thing to your production environment how it will so you can mimic those things right so that's a delivery okay continuous delivery so of course you will not be deploying it on the production server but you are keeping it ready for the deployment so at any point you can you can think okay let's deploy it and it, it should be available for that so integration is you are pushing the code delivery is making it available for deployment now what about continuous deployment now continuous deployment is a bit scary because when you the moment you commit your code after the auto automation test your code will be directly deployed on the production server okay if there's something wrong you're gone but then it doesn't happen very often right so you write a code you commit it and be first you test it then there's automation test and then it goes to the production server that is continuous deployment now not every company do this okay because every company they have different requirements they have different approach some companies only go for ci they don't go don't, they don't even go for cd because uh, some company go for delivery and some company go for continuous deployment the moment you commit it will get getting deployed and I mean it will be uh, tested and then it will be deployed example people who are working with microservices they believe in the continuous deployment and there are some big companies like Facebook they are doing this write the code commit and it will be deployed on the on the server so that's CI CD now is it that easy to implement the answer is no because initially you have to you know you have to make your team ready for this second you have to get a pipeline so that it will everything will happen in the in the sequence so because you will be committing it you will be testing it and then it will be going for deployment so that's a code pli pipeline which you build now there are different tools available for this uh, we can use jenkins which is one of the best tool available or if you are using aws in fact uh, in the description area you will find a video of mine which explains all this concept okay now the main focus was not to explain ci cd but i was trying to explain it plus but you can match it up right how exactly things happens in the real world so that's what is ci cd is so in case if you are going for a day ops job this is very important for you so if you have any more questions let me know in the comment section uh, that's it everyone thank you so much for watching and if you liked it like click on the like button and do subscribe for other videos